Hello and welcome to the official MC Championship 17 update video. Yep, so soon. So of course, this will be short and sweet. This MCC, we focused on adding some new maps to the roster and reviewing some of the scoring in various games. So how about we start a run through of these maps? Battlebox is getting an artistic touch with its new map, Graffiti. Similar to the classic experience of Battlebox, players will be able to collect and use leaf blocks to help traverse the map, which may help in reaching that heightened middle area. To get to the other side, and Wacker Fan is getting a hot new map too. This one's called Shallow Lava, obviously named that way to imply that it's much safer than uh, deep, la deep lava. And most excitingly, Parkour Tag is getting a brand new map. This one's called Plaza. It's a kind of cool town with a canal running through it. Super fun! But most uniquely, it has a bunch of these strange ice slides. Well, if you crouch at the right time while sprinting, you'll slide right through them. They're super satisfying and make great opportunities to gain some headway on your enemy. In other news, Survival Games is going back to the world of Cars Forest Map. And with Ace Race and his new trident, we'll be heading back to Python's Crypt. What? We're going back? No! There's been a small change in Sand of Time too. All puzzle rooms now have a very clear reset button. Some puzzle rooms can be reset infinitely, but some can only be reset once. So players should probably keep an eye out for this before they go ahead and click a load of random levers, thus failing the puzzle and locking themselves out from the prize. All right, next up we have scoring changes. Well, Isaac Epic Wilkins Landlord Jr. has been a bit busy with things, messing around with scoring and stuff, so I thought, why not tell you about them? Now, as some of these scoring systems can be quite a bit to explain, especially with all their different values, we're moving the exact scores over to our website, noxu.com slash mcchampionship. So if at any point you want to see what exact coins are given for what placement, just go check it out on the site, okay? Starting with survival games, overall scores for survival and kills have been reduced but there is now a coin bonus rewarded for final survival placement of your team. Your team's placement is decided as soon as your entire team is eliminated. This should help tighten the score spread of survival games and make it a bit less of a risky game for everyone. To get to the other side and whack a fan, overall coins from finishing have been reduced, but there is now a larger placement reward for finishing within the top four places. There are also extra bonus coins awarded to the first four entire teams to finish as well. This should allow to get to the other side and whack a fan matter a bit more in creating larger score gaps between teams. Buildmar has been given a very slight tweak where now each build has specific completion placement rewards. Instead of the previous system where it would decrease by a consistent two coins every time. With golden builds, this completion placement reward is simply doubled. Grid Runners has received a large change in the method of its scoring. From now on, all coin rewards will be paid out at the very end of the game. Once the game comes to a close, the game end score breakdown will pay out to each team a placement reward on how fast they completed each individual room. Once all eight rooms have been paid out, each team will then receive a course completion bonus on how fast they completed the entire course. And then that all added together will make each team's final score. As a reminder, all scoring systems and how they work in depth will be written over at noxu.com slash mcc just under each game. Also, if you've been following the MC Championship Twitter, you'll know that recently we retired the team mascots Cyan Creepers and Green Guardians. Well, thanks to the suggestions from the community, we are pleased to welcome our two brand new team mascots, the Green Geckos and the Cyan Coyotes. So cute! And lastly, we noticed that in the previous MCC, some viewers questioned what would occur in the highly unlikely scenario that two teams tied at the end of the event for second place. Well, so that everyone knows, all that happens is that it looks at the previous game and works out which of those teams were ahead then. And that's the team that will take the second spot. Yeah, and that was always coded in from the start. Yeah. We always had that. All right, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on Saturday the 18th of September, 8pm BST. Don't miss it. Bye.